Manuela and I'd like to welcome you to our session today. Teacher Allison is waiting for us, but let's pray first. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for our mummies and daddies. We thank you for our friends that are going to learn with us. Bless us as we are going to learn. In Jesus' name I've prayed. Amen. Let's join Teacher Allison for our lesson today. Hello, friends. It's good to see you all today. You're looking so bright. Welcome, welcome, and welcome to today's session where we talk about something special. We get to ask questions and find answers for them and have very nice conversation together. Are you ready to start? Are you ready to start with me today? Okay, that's good to know. Now, just before we start... I'm going to ask each one of you to quickly run outside, find some of your friends, call your daddies and mummies, call your brothers and sisters, your uncles and aunties, and ask them to come and join today's session with us. Do you think you can do that right now? Very good. I'm giving you a few minutes to quickly run out and call all your friends, okay? Good. Now that you're back and we are ready to get started, I would like each one of us to turn to our neighbors, give them a very hot high five. Stop. Give each one of them a very hot five on the right, on the left, those in front of you. Make sure you're seated with some nice company. It's very good for us to start our day with greeting okay and to start this session with greeting as well okay now let's stand up together friends let's stand up and let's greet each other okay are we ready to greet each other well after giving the high five good hello 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 Hello, 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 hello. It's nice to see you here today. It's nice to see you here again. Can we do it one more time? Hello. Hello, 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 hello. It's nice to see you here today. Wow, you're very amazing children. You all know how to greet. That's a good thing, okay? Now we'll talk about greeting some other time when we have another session. But today, we're going to talk about something very special. Can you say something very special? Something very special. Very good. Now, we are in the month of June. We've crossed over from May to June, and I would like to congratulate you and welcome you to the month of June, okay? Now, in the month of June, we are going to talk about, anyone wants to guess? Yes, some people are saying Thanksgiving. Another try. Do you want to see the word that's behind me? What's the word that's behind me? 
It says giving. Can we all say giving? Yes, we're going to talk about giving. Who knows what giving is? If you know what giving is, just put your hand up. Put your hand up. Oh, all of you know what giving is. You're very brilliant children. Who has ever given someone something? Have you ever given someone something? Yes, you gave your mommy a hug. That's true. That's very nice. Anyone else? You gave someone a gift. Wow. Now I'm going to ask you another question. Has God given you anything? Has God given you anything? Yes, God gave you a new dress. Some of us have new shirts, new trousers. God has given us and blessed us with very many things. And we are very grateful to him for giving us very many things. I would like to thank God for giving me life. God has blessed me with life. He has blessed me with a nice dress. Do you see my nice dress here? Yes, it's God who has given me many of these special gifts. He's even given me a daddy and a mommy, and I'm very happy for that. He has given me very many things. Now, I would like us very quickly to pick up our Bibles. Do you have your Bible close to you? Where is your Bible? Do you know how to spell Bible? B. I B L E. Very good. So just pick up your Bible. We are going to read from something special. Okay? But before we read, I would like us to pray and ask God to come and guide us as we talk about giving. Hands together. Everybody, let's put our hands together and have our eyes closed. Dear Lord, we thank you so much for today. We thank you for giving us life and for giving us your son, Jesus Christ. For giving us daddies and mommies. For giving us friends. Giving us food and very many things. We pray that you help us understand what we are going to learn and to practice it every day. In Jesus' name, amen. Very quickly, everybody, get up your Bible. Get out your Bible. Lift it up, lift it up. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Have you finished to shake it? Good. Now, have you finished to shake it? I want you to tap it. We're going to tap, tap, tap. Can we do that one more time? Tap, tap, tap. And let's do it the last time. Tap, tap, tap. Very good. Now let's do this. Take your little hand and tap, tap, tap. Take your little hand and tap, tap, tap. Take your little hand and tap, tap, tap. Tap the Holy Bible. Take your little hand and tap, tap, tap. Take your little hand and tap, tap, tap. Take your little hand and tap, tap, tap. Tap the Holy Bible. Can we take it faster? Take your little hand and tap, tap, tap. Take your little hand and tap, tap, tap. Take your little hand and tap, tap, tap. Tap the Holy Bible. Take your little hand and tap, tap, tap. Take your little hand and tap, tap, tap. Take your little hand and tap, 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 tap the Holy Bible. Wow, I feel like giving each one of you a warm hug and squeezing you all. You have such 
beautiful angelic voices. I'm so excited to hear the way you sing. Now, we were reading from the Bible. Do you remember that? Yes. And today, we are going to read from John chapter 3, verse 16. Okay? Can we say John 3, 16? Very good. Now, what does John 3.16 say? John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. God loved us so much that he gave, he gave us his Son so that if we believe in him, we will not perish, but have everlasting life. Now, God's son, who is Jesus, was so important to him. What's important to you, dear friends? Some of you say your daddies and mummies. Yes. Some of us say shoes. Okay. There's so many things that are important to us. And are we willing to give those things to someone else to help them feel better, to help them have joy, to help them become better people? Are we willing to do that? Now, guess what? God did something even bigger than that. He gave us Jesus, his own son, so that if when we accept him in our hearts, we will become his children also. So God gave us his son so that whoever believes in him will not perish, will not die, but have everlasting life. Isn't our God good? Isn't our God wonderful? Can we make a kalulu for Jesus? Do you remember how to make a kalulu for Jesus? Get your finger and you do this. Ooh. Can we make a kalulu for Jesus? Ooh. How about a kalulu for God who gave us Jesus? Ooh. So we thank God so much for giving us his son. Okay? Now God has blessed us and given us many other things. Just look around you. Look around you turn and look around you there's so many things that God has given to us and I will share some with you God has given us Jesus who we talked about just now God has given us some friends isn't our God good imagine if you are living in a world with no friends and no people God gave us friends God has given us a beautiful church community. We come to church and enjoy being with other people. God has given us family. And we thank God so much for giving us family. God has given us food. He's given us food to eat every day. He has blessed us with water. God has given us so many things that we need to thank him for. Okay? Now, I would like us to thank God so much for the things that he's given to us. Are you ready to thank God? Let's bow our heads and thank God for the gifts that he's given to us. Hands together, eyes closed. Dear Lord, we thank you so much for the blessings you've given to us. We thank you for your son, Jesus, who you sent to die for us on the cross. We thank you for our families, for our friends, for our church. We thank you so much, Lord. Help us to learn, to appreciate what you give to us. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, dear friends, 
if there is one of us that is sitting and is listening and has not yet given their lives to Christ, I would like you to stand up and say this prayer with me and ask Jesus to come into your heart, okay? Very good. Lord Jesus, we thank you for today. I ask you to come into my heart and make me a new person. Forgive me for all my sins. From today, I am a child of God. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, if you just say that prayer with me, the angels are happy in heaven and they are shouting and rejoicing and singing and screaming and making kalulu. They are so excited because you are a child of God. Now, as we come to the end of our session, I would like you to keep giving thanks to God for the many blessings that he has given to you. For now, I would like to say bye and wish you all a beautiful week ahead. Bye-bye, 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 bye-bye. It's nice to have you here always. It's nice to have you here always. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. Bye bye, 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 bye bye. It's nice to have you here always. It's nice to have you here always. God bless you all. And have a nice week. Thank you, Teacher Allison, for the lessons we've learned today. And thank you, Cherubs, for listening and being attentive. Let's join our Olives class for their session today. Teacher Jerome, how are you doing? I'm doing well. I thought that you guys are not going to be able to come. Over here, you're having so much fun with the cherubs. Well, we're done now, and we're ready for what you have for us. Okay, but before we go any further, do you mind praying for us? Not at all. Hands together, eyes closed. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for what we've learned so far. Please help us to learn more. Help us to be attentive. In Jesus' name, I've prayed. Amen. Amen. Now, it's time for us to head over to the Olives Choir. But before that, we have a fun activity for you. Manuel, are you ready? Yes. Yes, so now we're going to do something very simple, which I know all of you or most of you know about. It's called rock, paper, scissors. Do you know about rock, paper, scissors? Yes, I okay. do. Okay, show me the rock. Good. Show me the paper. Okay. Show me the scissors. Good. So, what can beat the paper? The paper, the scissors. Aha. Uh -huh. What can beat the scissors? The rock. What can beat the rock? The paper. Good. So, are we ready? Make sure you have your friend with you there. Make sure you have... You're ready to start. We are going to count. So this is how we are going to do it. We are going to say rock, paper, scissors. Then we all shoot at the same time. Yes, we only have four rounds so that we can see who will win. 
Manuela, yes. are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. ready to win or to? I'm ready to win. Okay, let us start. We go. Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors. shoot. Ah. Oh, she has one. Good. Let's go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. What? She has two. Or maybe she's cheating. Okay, let us find out. If she wins the third, then she'll have won the whole game. So I hope you also are counting. Okay, we go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. That's a draw. We have now one more round. We go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yes, at least I have one. He has one point, but I have two, so I have one. It was so much fun. But children, don't forget to give your ties and offerings using the numbers on the screen. And now, it's time for us to head over to the Olive Square. Make sure you have your dancing shoes ready. ready. Hello, friends. You're welcome to the brand new month of June. And it's a month about giving. Yes, and we are going to teach you a new song, a fun song about giving. Hope you're ready. Yes, stand up and join us. Yes, stand up.
Thank you, Olive Squire, for the singing, the dancing, and the having fun. Thank you indeed. I also had fun and enjoyed. Now, it's time for us to go to Teacher Caro. She has prepared a wonderful session and lesson for us. So make sure you have your notebook, your Bible, pen, and also prepare your heart as we head over there now. Hi, friends. Good morning. I am so excited to see you today. My name is Teacher Caro and I'm looking forward to learning with you today. I hope you had a good month of May. We started a new month and I'm so grateful that God has brought you this far. God has blessed us with so many blessings from the beginning of the year. He has kept us alive. He has kept our family alive. We went through the first term of school and finished it and we've started a new one. And we have been in good health. I'm so grateful that you're here. And I hope you can think of so many things to give thanks to God for. Because there is a lot that he has done. I... Isaac. Can I start from here? And build on to what I've said already? Okay. So... This month we are going to be learning about giving and as we begin our lesson, let us just pray together. Hands together, eyes closed. Lord Jesus, we thank you for today. We thank you for the gift of life. Thank you Lord for bringing us into a new month. We are grateful for your love. We are grateful for how you've kept us, how you've kept our family, how you have kept our teachers and blessed us with a new day. As we share in your word today, Lord, we invite you and we pray that you speak to us, O oh God. We open our hearts to you. We pray that you speak to us, teach us, Lord, and help us to do your will. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. So friends, like I mentioned, we are going to be learning about giving. And I want to just take time and ask you, what is the best gift you have received? Maybe in this past year, maybe even this week. What is the best gift you have received? Before I came here, I asked my friend Manuela what the best gift she has received is. And she said in the past year, the best gift she has been given is a phone. And I thought, wow, that is such a powerful gift to receive. And I know that even you yourself have received some things. Maybe your parents have bought you a new dress, a new pair of shoes. Maybe it is a book. Maybe you have made a new friend and that is a great gift from God. So whatever the gift is that you're thinking about, I am excited for you and I thank God for the way that he has blessed you. Now, of course, the best giver in all the world is God himself. He has loved us and given us so much that we cannot pay for. He has given us life. He has given us families. He has given us a home. He has given us food. Every day we have something to eat. We have a warm place to lay our heads. We have air that we breathe in. So many beautiful things that God gives us every day that we cannot pay for. So he is the best giver in all of the world. And you know what? There is one special gift that he has given us that cannot be matched by anything else in all of life. And I just would like us to read about this gift. So let's open our Bibles to John 3.16. Let's open our Bibles to John 3.16. This is a, 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 a common verse that we recite. It's one of my favorite. I hope you love it as well. So let's read it together if you don't know it. But if you know it, we can just as well go on and recite it together. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. But have eternal life, but have everlasting life. That is what John 3.16 tells us. That God has so loved us, that he has given us his very best. God saw that we were lost in sin, we were far from him, and he wanted us back to himself because he loves us, because he has made us. And he thought, what is the best way for me to get my people back? And the only thing that could count 
was him giving his one and only son. So God sent Jesus. He sent his son and he died for us. He gave his life for us that we would be restored back to God. And so because of that great precious gift, we have a father in heaven. We have a family of brothers and sisters who believe in Jesus with us. They are friends in our lives. They are people in your life that you would never have met if it wasn't for the gift that God gave of his son, Jesus Christ. So God has given us a very good example of what it means to give. When we give, we give our best. We don't give carelessly. We don't give just anything. We give out of love, love for God and love for the people that he has put around us. So he has given us a very good example of what it means to give. And so as we go through our lesson and as we begin to wind up, I want us to do a very simple activity. We are going to make a craft that just reminds us of the gifts that God has given us. Ultimately, the best gift he has given us is his son, Jesus Christ. But there are also many other gifts that he has given us. And I want us to do a very simple craft that you can do at home with materials you can find at home just to remind us of these precious gifts that God has given us. So, I would like to show you the materials we are going to use. You can get them at home very easily. If there is an empty box at home, you can find that box and you will need some colored paper and a pair of scissors. You'll need some glue to use, to use on the paper and then a marker. But if you don't have a marker, you can always use a pen. So I'm going to put this microphone down. I hope that you'll still be able to hear me so that I can show you. Okay. So I have this, I cut it off an empty box. You can get one yourself, something that looks like this. We are going to cut it out to create a base for our craft. So I've cut this out, it's going to be our base. And then you pick another side of the, the box cover and cut out something this long, something this wide. And when you're done cutting it, you'll go ahead and peel off the top layer like this. This is what my tin looks like. If you recall, we have gotten cardboard, we cut this out to create a base, and then we got another piece and peeled off the top layer like this. Peeled off the top layer to get this pattern that you're seeing. To get the pattern that you're seeing, we peeled off the, the top layer and then we rounded it up to make the tin, which we have gone ahead and painted. So this is what mine looks like. Now, remember we said that God has given us different gifts. So I have some color paper here that we are going to use to create stickers that have the gifts that God has given us. You can go ahead and cut your own shapes. I am going to use the heart and I'm going to use the heart for the biggest and best gift of all and that is Jesus. So I'm going to write Jesus on this heart. For me, this is the best gift that God has given me and I believe it's the best he has given you as well. So there, I have Jesus. And then I'm going to have another sticker and I'm going to write family. My family, that's the other great gift that God has given me, okay? Then I'm going to have another sticker and I'm going to write church. That is another gift that God has given us. What other gift has he given us, friends? God has given us friends. God has given us friends. So I'm going to write friends. I'm going to write friends. And then I'm going to have another sticker and I'm going to write food. God has given us food. God has also provided us with water. God has also provided us with water. That is another amazing gift that we can't live without. So here I have my stickers. And then 
you're going to take your piece of cardboard and you're going to cut out tiny sticks that we can use as our stickers to hold up our stickers so it looks something like this then we are going to go ahead and we are going to put some glue some glue at the back of our of our sticks going to put some glue where our stickers will stand so I have my sticker with water here and I'm going to put it in my tin then I'm going to make another sticker so you go and stick all the gifts that you have written that God has given you just go ahead and stick them on and add them to your collection so this is my gift and the gift is called Jesus there so then we have the gift of food we have the gift of food and I'm going to add it to my collection also there Add it to your tin. Then we have the gift of family. We have the gift of family which we are going to add there as well. The gift of family. And we are going to put it in as well. We have two more gifts to go, friends. We have the gift of friends. We have the gift of friends here. Add to our tin. And then we have the gift of church. God has given us a gift of church. We are members of our church where we have many friends, many brothers and sisters where we have our pastors who teach us the word. So that is the other gift that God has given us and I'm going to put it here. Okay. So I have the collection of gifts that God has given me. Now later on you can feel free to add as many as you would like. If there are more gifts you think of that you want to add to your collection, just go ahead just go ahead and pin them, make a, make, make, make a stick for them, put them on the sticker and add them to your tin. Now, as we come to the end of our activity, of course we need to label our collection and we are going to write, get a little piece of paper and say, gifts from God. We're going to write on it gifts from God. Gifts from God. So these are the gifts that God has given us. And we'll go ahead and put glue on this as well. So that we can stick it. Because when anyone comes in, walks into your room and they'll wonder what is this beautiful thing about. They will just be able to read and see that these are gifts from God. So we are going to put that here. Now, for our final part of our craft, we are going to write something here from the Bible. The Bible tells us that every good and perfect gift comes from above, from the Father of lights. Do you know where that scripture is? Let me give you time to find it as I write here. So it says, every good, every good and perfect gift comes from above. Comes from above, from the Father of light. And who is that? That is God, our Father. Put glue on that paper. 
and then we are going to spread it here as a scripture to remind us all these amazing gifts they come from God all these amazing gifts come from our father God So the scripture is from James 1.17. James 1.17. It says, Every good and perfect gift comes from above, from the Father of lights. There. So friends, I hope you have this. This is our craft to remind us that God is the biggest giver. And these are all the gifts that he has given us. Now, God has done us so well and blessed us with so many gifts and because we are his children and we are like him we too have to be givers we too have to give so think about it what are some of the things that you can give what are some of the ways that you're going to give maybe you're going to help your brother to make his bed maybe you're going to help your little brother to make his bed that is a way of giving you're giving of your strength you're giving of your time. Maybe you're going to share your snack with your friend at school. That is a way of giving. Another way of giving is when we come to church, when we go to church, we take an offering to God and we give as a way of thanking him for all the blessings that he has given us. So please take time this week. Think about all the ways that you can give and give. The Bible tells us that when we give, God will give us back to us many blessings pressed down shaken together and running over is what he will pour into our laps so i would like to give you an opportunity if you're out there and you have not received this precious gift called jesus i'd like to give you an opportunity to receive jesus in your heart so that he can bring you the same joy that he brings us and so that he can show you how to give he can teach you to give and love people around you so if you're there, my friends, and you have not yet received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I just want to take time and pray with you. So let's put our hands together and invite Jesus into our hearts. Okay, so pray after me. Lord Jesus, I thank you because you love me so much. I thank you because you have given your life that when I believe in you, I may not perish, but have everlasting life, but have eternal life. I open my heart to you and I pray that you forgive me my sins, cleanse me with your blood, come and sit in my heart, come and live in my heart, be my Lord and be my Savior. Teach me how to love and teach me how to give like you. In Jesus' name we have prayed, amen. So if you say that prayer, my friends, Jesus is now in your heart. He will teach you to give, he will teach you to love, and he will teach you how to live your life in a way that pleases God. So thank you so much for learning with me. I hope you are happy with the work that you have done. No worries if you've not finished it. You have a whole week to do it and put it somewhere that you can look at it every day and remember how much God has loved you and how much he has given you and how you also ought to love others and to give to them. So let's just pray together as we close our lesson. Dear Lord, we thank you so much for everything that we have learned today. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for giving your son and, and, and saving us and giving us a family, giving us brothers and sisters. Thank you for all the miracles and masses that we enjoy from you because of how you love us and how you give to us every day. Lord, teach us to give. Teach us to be like you. Teach us to give to those in need. Teach us to give to those you have put around us to love and to bless, oh God, that we may spread your love and your joy. As we go through this week, Lord, bless us, go ahead of us, bless our parents, bless our teachers, bless our church, bless our country, oh God, and let your love and your mercy remain with us. In Jesus' name we have prayed, amen. Friends, thank you so much for learning with me. I look forward to seeing you next Sunday. Have a lovely week. Thank you so much, Teacher Carol, for that awesome and wonderful lesson. I hope you learned something so you can please write it down or tell it to your neighbor. Now, it's time for us to go through our memory verse. Manuela, yes. 
you know where our memory verse comes from? Yes, I do. It comes from John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not die, but have everlasting life. Okay, let us say that another time. John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Can we say it one, one last time for those ones who have not heard it well? John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Life. Thank you so much, Manuela. Now you can please take more time to memorize it even better so that you can be able to say it anywhere and anytime. Now we are coming to the end of our wonderful session. Till we meet next time. Bye. Bye.